Hi, today we're here um, at the Orange County Library System, the Southeast Branch, and we're capturing memories for our database Orlando memory. And we have someone here today, and can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Chris Taylor. I've been a resident here in Central Florida for about 36 years. Wow, that's, that's a long time. Uh, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like back then versus now? Any memories that you have that you want to share with us? Well, Orlando was a tiny, tiny place back then. We had an itty bitty little airport. It had one single luggage carousel and one single place to walk out to the airplanes. You could actually go out onto the tarmac back then and watch the airplanes roll in and they would put the steps right next to the plane. That's pretty cool. Um, any other memories? How about uh, during your um, young adult years or anything now that you find kind of bizarre? What did you do when you were hanging out with your friends back then? Well, back then, there really wasn't a whole lot to do. On Saturday nights, we would do something called Cruising the Drive, which were a bunch of teenagers. We would get together, we'd drive up and down International Drive and go to the McDonald's and hang out there. That was great until they started handing out traffic tickets for doing that. <laughs> and we kind of sort of stopped doing that. Um, can you tell me about your most vivid childhood memory? Vivid childhood memory? Hmm. In Orlando. Hmm. Or any memory. Any memory in Orlando, an event yeah. that you went to that was pretty significant. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember back in the day, um, Disney used to be a lot smaller than what it is today, and they had one theme park was the Magic Kingdom, and they would close the park down at six o'clock during the holidays, and it was just open for their families to come in, and everything was reduced half price. I think popcorn cost about 25 cents, and I think a soda was about 10 cents. Nice. And we used to go through the Magic Kingdom, my sister and I, and um, we could stay out late, we could eat junk food until we got sick, and then when we finished, there would be people standing at the gate and they handed us these little fire trucks and they were filled with candy. And it was, it was a really good family experience back then. Cool. Um, what do you think, I know you've lived here for a long time, what are your greatest accomplishments, whether it was something that you did or something that you're just very proud of that you were able to accomplish here in Orlando? Um, I went to college here and I graduated uh, from the U University of Central Florida with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. That's great. Awesome. All right. Well, this wraps it up for our interview here with Chris Taylor at the Southeast Branch. Thank you. Thank you.